ever since uh, Shannon left, that went down, 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 yeah. down, down. One of their least watched shows of all time. Hey, 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 what is good, YouTube? I am back with another video. Chat from the mob. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe before you even get into this video. I love you. I love y'all so much. I'll be nowhere without y'all. Let's get right into this video. Today we got Shannon Sharp, Skip Bayless. Numbers is apparently going down, which is a bad sign because, you, as y'all know, Shannon Sharp left um, Undisputed a minute ago and it's been Skip Bayless by himself. If y'all know, y'all watch First Take, if y'all watch All Them Good. Sports betting shows on ESPN. You know what I'm talking about, but we're gonna get right into this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe before you even get into this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That's all I'm asking. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get right into it. So it is being reported that uh, mm -hmm. the breakup of FS1 Undisputed, Skip okay. and Shannon, has gone widely in the favor of Shannon Sharp. Mm. Skip Bale is someone I actually respect, and I think that he is really important. Um, really, in, in all these shows, I, I felt like uh, first take would have been what it was without him, even on Disputed. You need the person to hate. Let me tell you how okay. this is the most hated world. You always have to have someone down to play the bad guy. That's why I think Skip well, is a... criminally underrated. He plays the bad No, really, though? I think Skip, he just says some crazy things. I remember I used to see Skip, this show in particular, go viral a lot, especially like on ESPN. Like it go on Instagram, it go viral. Like just him and uh, Shannon Sharp arguing, and I think Shannon Sharp, well, I think Skip Bayless, he's just like a, he's like an Andrew Schultz guy. Y'all know who that is? That be uh, doing that podcast with uh, what's his name, Charlemagne? Not trying to say I don't know his name, but I forgot. Andrew Skip Bayless is like an Andrew Schultz guy. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Bad guy. He's the hater. He's going to hate on LeBron. He's going to hate Tim Tebow. I like, you know what I mean, uh, 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 um, Tom Brady. He's going to hate on everybody the culture likes, right? Mm -hmm. Him and Shannon Sharp were great. Him and uh, Steve Nay were great. But ever since Shannon Sharp left, Shannon Sharp been going crazy with Uncle Shane. Yes. Uh, nightcap with him and um, Ocho. Of course, uh, uh, Chad Johnson. That's the name. And he's been on first take every now and then. They... Shannon Sharp has been going up. I remember he left this show and he made the announcement. When he made that announcement, I say it was like almost late last year. God, it's March. It's, it's 2024 March. That's crazy. It's going to be 2025 in nine months. That's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, uh, I remember he made this announcement and I thought his career was going to go down. Little did I know he turned up. Shannon Sharp, he had the Uncle Shay Shay podcast. That little debate stuff with him and Ocho, they doing great. He's doing great. He said, the for Undisputed, though, recently has only averaged 50,000 viewers on Tuesday. Um, and it's historically bad numbers because on the same day, first take averaged 486,000 viewers of Shannon Sharp. Basically, Shannon Sharp is the bad. Shannon Sharp, uh, his move, by the way, first take has always averaged like, you know, high 300s or even 400s, depending on who's there. So it looks like first take is continuing to go good, but they're saying that FS1, a show that you know he left ESPN for, and I'm talking about Skip. Ever since uh, Shannon left, that shit is going down, 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 mm. down, down. Okay, That's apparently uh, they were. It's one of their least watched shows of all time, and now it's going to be speculated. Whoa. Well, what's going to happen? Whoa, okay. If it's the least watched show of all time, we just Skip Bayless, and Skip Bayless is supposed to be a fairly big name in that, in that you know what I'm saying, that program. This is terrible. Well, I didn't know it was this bad. I'm thinking they just their numbers is getting low, but historically bad numbers. They said this is the worst number, fifty thousand views. I think they made a mistake. Oh, did they talk about, like, good stuff that day? Like, let me know, like, what happened? In, in, in FS1, they try to get three <coughs> different hosts to, you know, come do the show with Skip. The hell they Wayne? have supposedly a little Wayne who comes <laughs> really? three times. Here's the thing. We don't see any good debates from FS1 anymore. And be, you know why? Remember what I said. That guy, Skip Bayless, is the bad guy. You need someone with a strong opinion or someone who has an affinity or who likes someone else that he hates. For example... Um, Shannon loves LeBron. He hates LeBron. So that was always going to make for spirited debates. These days, it's, n it's less than 
debates about things that are spirited that are less. It's more like they'll have like Keyshawn Johnson or they'll have uh, um, Richard Johnson. Sherman, and those guys are just giving their expertise. As I, I be seeing and, them on Richard Sherman. Like when I be seeing like the ex NFL guys, besides Shannon, Shannon's doing his thing. I get. I think Shannon been been in his. You know, what I'm saying been in his bad show lately. Um, but. Like, they have, like, the ex-NFL guys on. I don't feel like they are the great debaters. They're not great for that show. If you ask me, though, that's my opinion. That's my opinion only. Not nobody else's. That's my opinion only. But I don't feel like they're great for debating. They're good for the show because, you know what I'm saying, ex-NFL, ex-NBA. So, you know what I'm saying, things be getting better. But, you know, we can see analysts more than their arguing as spirited personalities and that's the problem if you ask me you're not about to argue with Lil Wayne Lil Wayne is Lil Wayne you get what I mean so again he's missing that element of it and what makes him good by him being the bad guy we're not using nobody wants to hear the X's and O's of this shit this is first take this is like drama Phil this is like Jerry Springer almost damn near you know what I mean like this is this is Zeus without fighting so again, when we can't get those debates, we have seen Skip less and less in the news feed, less and less in the clicks, and it kind of equates to the viewership now. Nobody ain't watching him right now. So what he really need to do, and, and, I, and I ain't going to lie to you, Skip, if Skip forced out Shannon Sharp, he was fucking wrong. I don't know if they couldn't get along personally. I know he did disrespect Shannon Sharp on air before when he said, man, put your fucking um, uh, glasses on, or he said whatever he said to Shannon. He should have apologized to Shannon because him and Shannon, they were steamrolling shit. And I think Skip's ego is now going to place this show in an interesting place as this year goes on. Because put it like this. This is how TV works. With about half a million half a million mm -hmm. people who, you know, usually on average, if you're watching that early in the morning from 10 a.m. or something like that, yeah. you're probably about age, uh, on average, you're in that like 25 to 45 category. Or you are. I be feeling kind of old watching that. I ain't going to lie. I be feeling kind of old, kind of watching uh, first take sometimes when I be up. And to make it like less old, I try to just watch it on YouTube, maybe like in the middle of the day, probably one or two episodes. I don't like try to get too like, I feel like I'm going to be getting old if I do that. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 65 category. They can sell a lot of ads, make a lot of money. When you're averaging the show with 500,000 people watching, you can still do a lot, okay? Even though these days, those numbers don't even look too crazy like that when you give, in, when you give the, the you, you think about like how streaming does. Like, I mean, currently on here now, how much do we have? We don't got too much. Uh, we got 3,000. There we go. 50,000 views is how much Kai, like less than Kai would have on average. I say Kai average would run like 60. 60, that's great though. 60 high in 100. Like, Kai views is based off Kai, literally. Like, he literally don't care. But 50,000 is not that much. 486,000 is crazy. That's great numbers for the first take. First take is the best ESPN show right now. I ain't gonna lie. Especially within the debate category or just talking category, sports category. Yes, first take is the one. That channel, we got 11,000 on the King Academics. Um,. How much we have on um, Rumble right now? Yeah, we we have four thousand on Rumble. Yeah, so yeah, we got about we got about like twenty thousand people watching here, right? Which obviously clearly Whoa, is that's good though. Shout out, shout out, at, shout out, watching, at, shout out, at, no, but still 20, like twenty thousand videos. I mean, 20, shit, we got twenty thousand, and Skip Bell is only getting fifty thousand. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Um, that just comes down to an ad game where, like, you know. Like, put like this, all the places we stream to get the 20,000, they're not going to pay one thousandth as much as they would pay for the 50,000 on Fox. And you know why? Because Fox says, you know, anyway, long story about ad selling and shit like that. Anyway, the, the point what I'm trying to say is that it's going to come to a crossroads eventually. They're mm -hmm. going to tell uh, Skip Bayless within the next year, hey, check this out. Brother, you're good. But we could do two things. We could either kill the show completely, fuck the debate show, we'll give you your own show. I think people will listen to Skip for his rants. Unless he has a good buffer that they'll listen to him for his debates. He's good at debates. But they, you know, good at debates and in terms of being so delusional, it's always entertaining. Um, and I'm not saying he's wrong all the time. I'm just saying that, like, that's why he's great. 
they're either going to have to find a perfect match for him. It can't be that this whole little rotating three is not going to work and Wayne is not going to work. They got to figure that out or they're going to have to say, yo, we're just going to give you a solo show like how we do Colin Cowherd. And the the numbers are there That's where right. it says 50,000 viewers. You, you just Let's not think in terms of dollar amount. 50,000 viewers is one-tenth the audience of, of ESPN First Take, and that's supposed to be the competitor. They're paying, or they offered, they paid Skip Bayless more than ESPN was down to pay him at the time. Low, you get low. what I mean? And, and, and if you listen to his story, arguably he says not really, but he says he also left because of like this producer he was really indebted to. That he left because he was forced shit, out. But regardless, he? hey, if you're doing one-tenth of your competition... You're just not in the league of the competition, which means if you're getting paid the same that your competition would pay you, that's doing 10 times better than you. Negotiate. They're going to have to cut your paycheck. So they're going to either have to cut his paycheck, fire him, or they're going to have to give him a different format. I think he's going to give it, get a different format. I think they appreciate him over there. I think whoever made that decision to say, get Shannon the fuck out of there, I believe that that Make person was ill-informed. They thought pair... Um, pair Skip Bayless with anybody of color with a loud voice and we'll get the same result. That is clearly not true. I haven't been able to get through one segment with all the new guys. Literally, um, though, that's sad, too. Like, let me get it right there. That's sad because I have not... I used to watch Undisputed roughly, like, probably twice a week. Twice a week, that's not much, but I don't watch it none. I don't watch... I don't see no viral clips of Skip Bayless going off with his little rants he be saying... I don't see no Shannon Sharp skip Bayless skips no more. I see all Shannon Sharp plus Shay Shay. Really, Shannon Sharp replaced Skip Bayless with Ocho. That's what happened. With Ocho and Stephen A. That's who Shannon Sharp replaced Skip Bayless with. Skip Bayless, you, you down bad right now, but you, you got to get back on your feet. You're a good guy. I don't. I like Skip Bayless. You're a great guy. Let's get back on your feet. But anyway, we'll be right until the next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe before we continue. I love y'all. We out.